All right, all right. Once again, once again, you're here with uh, your domestic violence counselor, Mr. James Horton. Uh, I am um, going to bring up, excuse me, I'm going to bring up a topic um, that's called, <coughs> in today's lesson, that's called Domestic Tongue Lashing and Domestic, and domestic Tongue Taming. What is, starting off, what is and how does one define domestic tongue lashing and domestic tongue taming when we deal with most major problems in our relationships? It says tongue lashing is verbally cutting our partner down, degrading our partner, belittling our partner, and saying things that should have never been said. Tongue taming is how we choose to avoid most of those problems and issues in our relationships by taming our tongue during those confrontational moments and times of disagreement. Tongue taming is giving up our right to be right. Ask yourself questions. Number one, when it comes to you getting into most verbal confrontations with most of your relationship friends or partners, are you known to tongue lash or tongue tame when it comes to keeping your cool? Right? Very important to keep your cool. Very important to take care of your health because not keeping your cool can raise your blood pressure and have you exploding and, and different things of a sort. Right? Now, uh, number two. Are you known to perform the act of domestic tongue lashing or domestic tongue taming when someone is talking or telling you something that you do not want to hear? Right? Are you able to hold your cool? Are you able to say, hey, man, I'm at my job. You know, I don't like my boss. I don't like my coworkers, but I'm not going to show my ass, right, and lose my job and lose my income that's coming in. You know, it's a lot to lose. We have to play the tape all the way out. Play the tape all the way out so you won't lose out by going and doing the food. All right. Now, number three. When it comes to you, but when it comes to your belief and what you believe is your strongest gifts and strengths when it comes to domestic tongue lashing and domestic tongue taming, which do you believe is your greatest strength, right? Holding your cool or talking big shit? I know grandma and them used to talk shit. I know your mama and them used to talk shit. I know your daddy, you know, he didn't have it all. He needed his medicine uh, more than he didn't, you know. So uh, uh, which one is your greatest strength? Uh, me, as your counselor, I find my greatest strength, no matter where I'm at, no matter where I go, is tongue taming, keeping my cool, not being the fool, not showing the opposition or the enemy that, boom, I'm about to attack, or uh, I'm a fool too. Not necessary. I have no reason, and we have no reason to be proving ourselves to someone else. One thing we must do is prove ourselves to ourselves, right? That's the job. That's it. That's all. All right. Number three. When it comes to your belief in what you believe. Oh, excuse me. Number four. When it comes to the parties, places, and arenas you've been known to associate yourself in, who do you believe expresses the strongest and most attractive strengths in those places? The domestic tongue lasher or the domestic tongue tamer? I don't think it's attractive to be stupid. I don't think it's attractive to sell, hey, you guys, I'm here. Ah, that mother, that mother, so-and-so, that so No, you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that, right? And I think the strongest person is the one that knows how to tame their tongue if, instead of how to lash their tongue out at others, saying ignorant, filthy, garbage kind of stuff, all right? And it's number five. Uh, number five says... In most relationships you've been known to be in that involve verbal confrontations between the man and the woman, who do you believe wins most confrontations? The domestic tongue lasher or the domestic tongue tamer? Uh, example of what I'm uh, uh, trying to address is the one of the situations I, I put out, one of the uh, frames I put out in, in the group is I asked the uh, male group that I counsel, I said, if it was 20 women standing on the wall it was, and uh, 20 players, you guys, I like to pump men up, you know, really, really to get them and do my job in the way I do it. I said, uh, 
if it was 20 of you players talking to 20 women, you guys were having a fight because you couldn't put your hands off. I said, who would win the fight out of 20 women and 20 players? Right, so the guys like, no, they can't whoop us. They can't, you know, because when you put that player on, you can see the body language and the shoulders move, and I, oh, they really feeling good, like showing off and feeling like the big shot in the group. So uh, they, I said, they wouldn't have you shitting on yourself? Oh, no, they wouldn't. And I said, they wouldn't have you piss on yourself? Oh, they wouldn't make you cry? Oh, no, no, no. Right? I said, so who would win the fight? So most of the guys, most of the so-called players would say, we would win the fight. I said, really? He said, what do you think, Teach? I said, I don't think you can whip those women talking. He said, why do you say that? I said, if you can whip those talker, women talking, why the hell are you guys in this program? Right? Obviously, you were, win you were losing the fight. You were absolutely losing the fight. Right? Because if she's a fool, it don't mean that you have to become a fool. Right? She gets the saying things about how small you might be down there. Get the saying things like, huh, you ain't all that. You broke. You a bum. You this, you that. And, and many of us bite. But I always say, if you know who you are, if somebody calls you to be where you don't have to answer to it. All right? So, um, number six. When it comes to most or some of the angry, upsetting situations you've been in at your job, in the club or at your house. Who do you believe is the smartest person? The domestic tongue lasher or the domestic tongue tamer? Right? <laughs> I mean, can you answer it? Okay, maybe, maybe you're moving a little slow and that's okay, we can be a turtle sometime. Uh, I believe the one that's the tongue tamer is the smartest. Why lose your income? Why lose where you live at because you're talking too much? That's not the smartest move to make. If you're going to be a chess player, think before you move. Think before you respond. Hold your cool. Give yourself enough time to really process what's going on because there's a lot of losses. Play the tape all the way out. If I say this, I'm going to get this. If I say that, it can be much bigger than what I thought it was going to be in the first place. So be careful. All right. Um, number seven. After catching your 52 weeks of domestic violence classes and thinking about the part you played, do you believe you would have benefited more using the tool of domestic tongue lashing or the tool of domestic tongue taming? Right? I mean, hey, we can't see it at first because there's a blackout stage depending on uh, why the confrontation took place, depending on your emotions and, and, and all this kind of stuff, depending on... Uh, if someone was unfaithful to you, if depending on if you caught somebody and actually seen something along with what you were seeing already in your head, all these things coming together. After going to a place like Santa Rita or the city jail or the county jail, one will sit there and say, damn, I wish I wouldn't have did this. Damn, I wish I would have left before all this happened. Man, why did I stay? Right, sitting there arguing, right, boom, and sitting there after attacking somebody and just twisting your head around, saying that, uh, man, yeah, 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 I bet you won't mess with me now, right? But don't you hear the sirens? The police is coming. The police, I mean, they coming, man. You know, somebody done told you. The neighbors say, if you don't leave right now, I'm calling them. And, and you, you, you still sitting there, right, until the handcuffs get on you. Until you get in the back seat of that car. Now you're looking all extra stupid. Right? So, find out where you want to be. All right, number eight. Did you know domestic violence laws include psychological abuse, which means people get arrested just for arguing with their domestic partner, which psychological abuse and arguing is actually domestic tongue taming. I mean, excuse me, let's, let's say it again. Did you know domestic violence laws include psychological abuse, which means people getting arrested just for arguing with their domestic partner, which psychological abuse and arguing is actually tongue lashing. It's lashing out, it's still, it's all that. But people say, oh man, I didn't hit her. Oh man, I didn't, but you said something. You told her you was gonna choke her out. She said something. I had my brothers come over here and beat your ass down, right? You, 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 you just went there, you said too much. That's not smart. That's not 
That's not, you don't got to say all that. You know, obviously it's saying something about you, something about something that's out of control within you, right? That you think you have to throw these verbal attacks, these verbal threats out to let somebody know. That still don't work because they're in the heat of the moment. They're not supposed to shut up. Oh, no, it's not supposed to shut up, but you can be smart and plan your escape. You know what I'm saying? Give up your right to be right and get the hell up out of there. Right? And have another free day out here in this wonderful world. This thing we call life. All right. That's it for your session today. Yours truly, the counselor. Mr. James, sorry to thank you.